woman. He played me false, and as, and her, he's married to Kathleen. What makes you think that you are the bright exception? Because I know Matt to be a good man, Ned. Oh, not a poisonous old woman of a thief, destroying names to keep himself in office. A thief, I'm a old what I want without you. And when Stanton plays your false, don't whine to me. I will not play her false, nor will I you. I got your letter, and I thank you for it. I'm sorry my winning means your loss. Uh, uh, wait, Ned. I swear I'll see you through this trouble. I want to be your friend again. Shake hands. Come on, man. In what better place in here I'm sure Ag would have wanted this company. Good God, the goat can talk. When Ag was living, though, you really met the livestock in the house. Don't kill him! Don't kill him! Go on, Ed, go. Remember Ag, Matt. Now, please, no disrespect. Oh! <laughs> Man, uh, see here. Oh, pay him no heed. Sure, what need of you to care what a thief thinks has been found out? I'll take it to keep out of this joke, then. It's always one one for interfering. Oh, why keep things out on me? Was he spit at you? Matt, Matt, are you crazed or what? You've hurt the woman's feelings. Kate, come ahead. Where are the Haggertys? Uh, inside the third rest, inside in the parlor. Matt, beg your pardon. For what? For what? Don't waste your sympathy on that one. Stay as clear of her as can be. She has a wicked tongue. Watch out for her. The woman heard you. Devil a bit I care now. Will you come into the parlor? Matt. She's crying. Joseph. Never mind, Matt. I heard you. Devil take you then for your big ears. Well, the devil take me, Matt. Leave me the skin. Will you not to the wake and let me be? What's this that Mrs. Stanton's after saying about a fight between her man and you? Oh, I'm not the kind that would demean myself by having words with the likes of him, Mariah. The likes of him? What is this all about? I never heard you talk that way of Matt. I never found him out till just now. He treated me like dirt. Who was he to be the high and mighty? <laughs> Hogan's ghost. Hush. A fancy boy made Shh. good. Ag's fancy boy! You shut your mouth or I'll <laughs> shut it for you. <laughs> Matt's broken up because of Aggie's death. That's why he lost his temper. Mm. Matt and Quinn, bad luck they were the day I let him in here. I'll not have you make trouble for Matt, Joe. I want you to come into the parlor now and take Matt's hand. He should take my hand. Will you come in if he comes out to you first? I'll make no promises. Oh, why, Mrs. Stanton, I'd like to talk to Mrs. Fien alone. Mariah, just a moment or two alone. Mrs. Finn, please. Matthew meant no harm. He has a dreadful temper, you know that. He's like a scalded cat since yesterday when he got the news that Agnes Hogan died. He, he told me just how much she meant to him when he was starting out on his career. You know that better maybe than myself. He told you that, did he? Did he tell you how he lived with her three years in a state of sin, in a love nest of a roadhouse down on Seagate, and the devil take the talk? And did he tell you, too, she drank herself consumptive for his sake because he threw her over three years since when he got all he wanted from her, missus, and married you? 